So we're going to look just quickly at um, just some quick tips to prepare your body and, and uh, for winter, your body and your mind. And this is from Canadian Living. So um, I will drop the sources in the um, when I download the video, our coffee chat video. So just seven things you can do to prepare your body for winter. Take krill oil. So moisturizing from the inside is as important as moisturizing from the outside and krill oil has a great omega-3. So that's one of your F goals to get. Um, <clears throat> moisturize with purpose. So we definitely wanna ensure our face is well moisturized, but we also want to find a, a real rich, non-greasy moisturizer for our hands. We're washing them more than ever. So it's important to have that. And you know that's part of our self-care, right? Um, I tend to get those split on my fingertips. So bag balm is a really good one for, for those cracked areas. You only need a teeny little bit. Um, and of course, stay hydrated through the colder, it's, which can be harder in the colder months. Um, three is warm up to work out. So we warming up should be part of something that we do, but be a little more intentional and mindful of it and warm up longer in colder weather because cold muscles are likely to be strained or injured. Um, and so dynamic movements versus static stretching is more helpful to get your blood moving. And if you haven't tried this yet, you can go into your beach, your bod, hit the filter, which will be right next to the um, uh, programs label right here. And then you can pick program type and um, like I pick mobility and flexibility, but you can go in there um, into other, you know, just programs like that you maybe you, you knew we had these, like the um, nine week control freak has the bonuses, warm up and recovery. So those are really good to do. Um, everybody has access to nine week control freak. Now lift four has some bonus um, stretching and I think he has foam rolling too. In four, week, uh, four weeks of the prep, there's um, a day in the program each week called range and repair. So a really good stretching foam rolling. Um, and of course, 645, if you look in the stage one, um, or in all of the stages, the warm up that he does in all the programs, in all the workouts is longer. So you'll get a good warm up there. And, or you can just check out the mobility days, which is every Wednesday. So make sure you're warming up really good. I've learned, especially through the reset, how important, you know, we, we focused on doing mobility, um, kind of helping our body. So you really do need to, that'll help you with your workouts. Uh, pop some zinc. So tip number four, pop some zinc. So we're, the rave is all about vitamin C and echinacea, you know, as to help us to prevent colds, but zinc, it has better, um, delivers better results. And along with your hand washing, zinc is going to be one of your better defenses against getting sick. So 10 to 15 milligrams of zinc daily. You can also get a zinc lozenge. So if you do start feeling sick, start sucking on the lot zinc lozenge and it'll reduce your sick time. Um, you can get zinc from meats, <laughs> uh, shellfish, cooked legumes, seeds like hemp, flax, uh, pumpkin, your cashews, your peanuts, your almonds. Zinc is in dairy and eggs, so whole grains too, like quinoa, brown rice, and oats, and dark chocolate has some zinc in it. Just make sure you get a good organic and one that doesn't have any sugar. Like if you can, we get, when we get a chocolate bar, we get the stevia, one, uh, it's Lily's is the brand. Um, and just a quick interesting fact is fruits and veggies are generally not great sources of zinc. So we're gonna focus on getting our fiber from our fruits and our veggies, um, but we do wanna make sure we're getting the zinc from the legumes and the seeds and the nuts and the whole grains. Okay, and then five, spice up your dinner. Certain spices warm you up from the inside. So interesting, ginger, cayenne, and cinnamon help increase circulation. So your, if your blood is flowing, your body's gonna be a little bit warmer. Um, so add in some spice to your dinner. Uh, six is boost your humidity. Uh, dry winter air obviously causes our skin to dry, um, but it also causes our sinus to dry. So setting up a humidifier in your bedroom or in your living room will help prevent the moisture from evaporating. Um, from the environment and when and your skin, right? So you can also it'll also help you protect against colds, but you don't want to overdo it because then you might end up with mold and then some respiratory problems. So 
Um, just be mindful of that. And then seven, like we talked about four, get your vitamin D. So when you can in the, you know, go outside and get it from the sun, but in Canada and Alaska, it gets hard to get enough vitamin D um, all year, but uh, especially in the winter. And so you might need to supplement it. We just take one every morning. Um, vitamin D boosts your bone health, reduces risk for chronic diseases and is linked to improved mood and immunity. So very important. So I will link the, um, the source here because it you know, goes into in depth here. And then just, um, I'll also put these in a couple of um, articles from the Beachbody blog, tips to stay motivated during winter. So one is nine easy ways to stay motivated all winter long. It talks about staying motivated for your workout, staying motivated to eat healthy and staying motivated to get out of bed. So with the shorter days, the colder mornings, it can be harder to get out of bed. So there's some tips there. So I will put that link in the, the group too. And then there's another one that um, I don't have here, but it's <coughs> tips to adjust to shorter winter days. So, um, you know, just our mood can be affected and, um, you know, we're, our schedule can be affected. So uh, I will put that in there because we need all the help we can. And if we're, um, if we're reading through this, it's just gonna, um, trigger our brain. It's like, oh yes, let's do that. Right. It's just going to give you some helpful tips to tell your brain, this is what we're doing. <laughs> Cause we really do have to tell our brain what we're doing. We have to take control of our brain. Um, Cause the thoughts are going to come in, the excuses are going to come in. And so if you're kind of armed with some of these tips, you're going to like, nope, we're doing this. So we're doing that or setting yourself ahead of time, setting yourself up ahead of time. Um, like we're learning on the jump start, I need to have a certain routine to protect myself from myself. Right? I need to have these certain things to help me uh, not sabotage myself uh, because I really do want to achieve this or do this. But in the moment, staying in bed seems a lot better or, you know, eating this seems a lot better. So, um, so I will drop all this wonderful information in our group. So <laughs> any final thoughts, comments, concerns, ideas? No, we went good. a little longer today, but that's cool. <laughs> and I will stop the sharing.